Today in Final Cut Pro, I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy hack to extend the edges of any of your clips. Here we are in Final Cut Pro. If I push Shift T to get the transform tool, you can see that as I click and drag this around, we're getting these black edges. Now, sometimes that's not a problem. It's a very easy fix to drop in a backdrop or to just scale up your image to fill in those edges. But what if neither of those is an option? That is where this trick is gonna come into play. With your clip selected, go ahead and drop the scale down to 50%. Then after that, go ahead and right click on your clip and select new compound clip. You can name it whatever you like and then push okay. Now that we have this compound clip, you should have all of these black edges surrounding your original clip. From there, we're gonna go down to our effects browser and we are going to look up the Kaleidotile effect. Now I just type in K-A-L because it's really difficult to spell Kaleidotile. Words. We can go ahead and click and drag Collider Tile onto our clip. With our effect applied, we can go into the width and height parameters and type in 960 by 540. Now the reason we're choosing this is if I disable my transform tool, you're gonna see that I have this box here, which is perfectly surrounding our video clip that is in the center. Now originally this video clip was a 1920 by 1080 video project. We shrank it down 50% and 50% of a 1080p video is 960 by 540. Once we've applied that, you'll see how it is perfectly replicating the edges of our video. But you will notice that there are some seams here, which can can be an issue. So if you are getting seams on your video, then I recommend that you type in 958 by 538. And that is just gonna remove a couple pixels and will totally fix those issues. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and select our transform tool and we can scale this up to 200%. And that is because we need to actually double the 50% clip that we originally created. So by scaling it up by 200%, we have now negated any of the shrinking that we originally did. Once we've done that, we can actually move this around with the transform tool and you'll see how the edges are repeated. So this can be a very handy way to actually extend the edges of a video clip where you need just a little bit more room to move your camera. Now it's certainly not perfect. You can actually see where the mirroring is happening so keep that in mind but this can be really helpful if you need just a little bit more space in your video now something that you should be aware of is that you do lose a little bit of resolution when you apply this clip so just keep that in mind when you need to do this effect this is just a really simple hack in Final Cut Pro that can totally save you in the edit when you need just a little bit more space in your camera. If you are a patron, I'm gonna have a special download where you can get this effect, just apply it without having to type in the specific numbers. Also, I'm creating a 4K version, so you're going to lose less resolution when you apply this onto your clip. With that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.